good morning, my fellow trucketeers. Fairly early morning it is. It's currently half past four in the morning. We are parked up here. And now we're off to Nottingham. And we've got a load of recycling on. We're just going to go to Nottingham. Nottingham, which is apparently five hours away. So we'll see how that gets on. And then from there, I think we've got to go across to Birmingham after that to go collect a load out of there. To then take to wherever. Just going past. And then we'll get out. Yeah. So the day is Tuesday the 11th of July. And it's been raining all night. It was quite fresh actually. Quite refreshing last night having the rain. A little bit muggy, but sort of did chill it down a little bit. So slept pretty well. <laughs> so we got a full load of recycling here, I assume. I had the trailer brought out to me last night. So you saw it the last, at the end of the last video. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go take us up there, go get off. So yeah, I'm not sure if I've been to this place before or not, and I'll have to check. I think there's a road closure as well, because I'm pretty sure yesterday it was quite me, four hours 39 when I was parked up there to get there. So I assume there's been a road close somewhere that it's not Try to take me a different way or something, I don't know. I'll have to have a look in a bit. So, as far as I'm aware, it's going to take me along the A35, A31, M27, M3, M1? M3, M25, M1, maybe. I'm going to guess that's the way, because obviously not of them's up the M1, isn't it? So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're a little bit tired this morning, so we're not quite as enthusiastic as we normally are, but we will wake up at some point today and we will be, you know, regular programming will be uh, continued. Oh, no. down again, there we go, that's the badger. Yeah, anyway, it's dark, so I'll shut up because you won't be able to see too much, and uh, we'll crack on. I'll see you in a bit. So, we're about four hours up the road now. Ooh. We stopped at Wayhill Services in Andover so I could get some fuel and grabbed some breakfast and whatever. And now we're moving up the A34 and the M40. Stopped at Cherwell quickly for a 15. And then carried on up the A43 under the M1 and now we're at Leicester Forest Services where we need a half hour break now to continue on to our customer. Anyway, I noticed this morning that some point between my collection and deliver well collection and dropping the trader off last night that um well I've lost my D. It's just not there anymore. No. Don't know where it's gone. It might even be visible in the last video, but I don't recall it. So, yeah. She's disappeared. Obviously, A, A and F are still there. Though that looks like it's starting to come away. Hmm. Don't know. Maybe the weather's getting into it. Maybe the heat's stopping it from sticking. Yeah, it's coming away. And that. Need some better tape, I think. So, yeah. That's somewhere on the uh, UK's road network somewhere <laughs> never mind right we're gonna have half hour break I'm gonna have a quick nap because as you can probably see in my eyes I am very very tired um, last night some boy racers decided about half past 11 last night that they'd have a tear up up and down the lay by near the lay by I was parked in like pulling out doing burnouts whatever um, yeah, most inconsiderate really. You know, I'm trying to sleep so I can do a day's work. Probably more hours in a day than they do in, well, a week. <laughs> well, probably more hours in a day than they do in two at least, I would have thought. So, 
I'm all up for a bit of fun in the cars, uh, having a bit of a tear up and whatever. Used to do it quite a lot when I was younger. But never near parked up trucks because I had this little thing called respect. Me and my mates always used to go up around the industrial estates to Andover, having a little tear around. Nothing major. Uh, but if we drove into a road, you know, we think, oh, we'll go to this road, we go there, see a parked up truck, we'll move on to the next road. See a parked up truck there, we'll find a different road. If they're all busy, we'll go to the other estate and try around there. If not, we'll go somewhere else because we weren't assholes. Well, we were, just not that bad. So, yeah. So, yeah, got woken up about half eleven and didn't fall asleep for a, a little while. Right, I'm going to have a quick nap. I'll see you in a bit. Alright. We are now near the customer, five minutes away. We are just north of Nottingham, somewhere-ish. Can't remember what this place is called. So we're gonna go in and go get this stuff off. I've not been to this site. I don't think I've been to this site before. When I get there, I'll probably recognise it. But oh yeah, I've been here. But at the moment, I don't think I've been here. But we'll see. It'd be nice to get it off because it stinks. <laughs> it's a very smelly trailer I've got today. I just say I wouldn't want to sleep with my windows open in the sunshine with this, so, yeah. Another good reason for having the cooling pod on the roof. Oh yeah, I didn't really get any sleep in the services either. I tried to for about 10 minutes, I was like, ah, I'm still wide awake and people are making noise, so... Ah oh, well... I'll have a nap later if I can. Find somewhere a little bit better. Alright, I think it's next left down here. And then left again. Well, the sat nav's gonna take me right. I think it's on the left. I think, because I looked on Google Maps yesterday, so. It's putting me on the right road, because the road sort of goes right across, but it's putting me on the wrong side where I need to be. So I assume the postcode covers the whole of that road. <laughs> Maybe even the whole of the estate, I don't know. I don't know, too bad a drive up though, considering how tired I am, so we've, we've done well. I've not hit that wall, so it's been alright. Because I drove for like, well, about an hour before I stopped to fill up the fuel, stretched my legs for a bit, got some fresh air, then drove for about Is it an hour? Hour? Hour and a half? Something like that. I think it was about an hour. Then uh, drove for about three hours. Two and a half to three hours. Stopped at Leicester Forest Services, obviously. Tried to sleep, but it didn't work. Had a bit of a walk around. Not too bad. Then it's just an hour here, which... About 46 minutes at the moment. So yeah, not been too bad. Made up a bit of time. So we're not as tired as we could be, I suppose. Turning here, seven half tons, six hundred twenty yards. Well, hopefully we're not going that far. Maybe we are. We'll find out in a minute. There's a sign there saying it's for the recycling places, so we'll find out in a minute. So, try and go with that Muller in the curb too much. Eh, no, just went straight over it. <laughs> Google Maps down there is just a field, so I don't think it's going to be down there. Household waste recycling centre. Yeah, it's definitely not down there because that's just a track. Oh, it's got to be down here then. I said it's the correct road name. Hmm. Let's just stop here a minute. I'm just going to check my paperwork a second.
All right. Nothing's really helping me on Google Maps at the moment, so just says a recycling place here, so I'm just going to assume it's this place up here. See how we get on. It's the right name, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. It can't be it, can it? Uh, it's got it on the sign there. Oh, it must be the right place then. It just looks like a little, you know, like your dump where you take all your rubbish to. You know, you take all your trimmings to out of your garden and you ain't got enough room to sh hide it in your bin. <laughs> but no, it's probably a proper recycling place, so all visitors must report to main reception, wherever that is. Uh, main entrance reception in there, okay. So first right. Come on car, I did flash you. You're going to be on my way in there. Been here then. Oh, you going, car? You gonna let me go? You gonna let me go? Then get. Must be in here somewhere then. So we got to go and find our reception. visitors must report to reception. Ah, park up there I guess. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Looks like we're here. Try and do this a bit discreetly. When you throw away your plastic recycling, do you rinse all the food off of it first or would you just chuck it in a bin with all the food on it? So I'll show you what happens when you don't wash your food off. My trailer ends up covered end up getting maggots everywhere so uh, if you do your plastic recycling wash the food off first before you chuck it away I'm not squeamish at all and maggots don't bother me but it is gross
right oh boys and girls we are done obviously you saw a little clip there we actually got let in before a couple of other trucks i don't know whether they were meant to do that or what i don't know there's a van right there as i was hoping to hit him um yeah so uh, we we're actually only waiting an hour and a wow well, just over an hour and a half before we actually went in so not too bad anyway we're now off to birmingham or cradley heath technically to or cradley heath in birmingham however you want to say it to go collect some steel work. Um, I had to sweep all the rubbish out of the trailer, obviously, and then we'll try to get as many of the maggots out as I could. There's quite a lot in there. So when you do plastic recycling, or any recycling, clean your food out of it, because uh, it's just disgusting otherwise. My cab is absolutely filled with flies now. So many of them in here. It's gonna be a nightmare to try and get them all out. Hopefully they will die soon, but... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have loads of buzzing in here tonight, I think, because they definitely ain't going to get out by the time I'm finished tonight. So I'll try and get a shower somewhere tonight as well. So Because uh, I've had stuff flick up on my legs and everything. It's kind of gross. I should really wear trousers and that. The only things I've got to put over the top of me shorts and that are uh, waterproof trousers, which um, just make me sweat. And I might as well just get soaked at that point. So, uh, you ain't full power. He's <laughs> flapping his arms for his... I think he's lost, I think he's trying to find somewhere. Yeah, so, uh, <sighs> damned if you do, damned if you don't, if you know what I mean. But we're all good, we're all done, we left the, it's now, I got there what, 11 o'clock-ish? It's now 2 o'clock. So about three hours I've been in there. The actual tip itself didn't take too long. Obviously I had to take all the straps off and everything as well, which wasn't really too much of an issue. Yeah. But now we've got a two-hour drive. Cool. A bit more spinny. Hopefully I don't get eaten by the flies. Hopefully they bugger off out the windows. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. Ugh. Here we are on Cradley Heath. Oh, there's been some interesting driving today. <laughs> Especially one van that seems to think in the merge lane it's alright to come all the way up my inside and just pretty much force me out, so sod, never mind. So hopefully his workmanship is better than his uh, driving. <laughs> it's a shoddy at best. Right, enough about that. We are about five minutes from the customer. Uh, I have been in before a few times in the past. Pretty sure it is soda stuff I collected out of here, so it's probably that again. Wondering what site it's going to go to. Could even be the one in Bridgewater again, which is always fun. Don't mind that one, that one's nice and easy to get in and out of. Lovely. Though, with the rain we've had over the weekend, the field could be a bit more interesting. let quite a few of the flies out as well. I think there's still one or two floating around. There's one over there. There's one flying around. There's at least two left in here still. Oh, there. oh he's just gone out the window. Result. So we're slowly losing the flies. I'm sure they're still going to do one buzzing around in here at night. Bugger me off while I'm trying to sleep. A lot less than there was. There must have been a good 10, 12 flies in it. The thing is, they all sat on my door in that while I was uh, out doing the curtains and whatever. So, of course, as soon as I opened the door to get in, they all jumped in. I did, like, shoo them all off as best I could, as far as I could reach at the door. So, it could have been a lot more in it. <laughs> Still, flies, not ideal. Not really what you want in it. Nearly there now. I don't think I've come in this way before. I think every time I've come up from south, so it's been a slightly different way I've come in here. There's the day we've come down from north. Put bridge that way, so don't go that way. That'll be fun. I 
bursting for a wee as well. <laughs> so I hope they let me use the toilet straight away. Because I'm going to wet myself. Then I'll need a shower even more. That's fine because I'm 4.21. This trailer is slightly taller than our other trailers by like 10 centimetres. So, not a great deal. I think the customer's just the other side of that bridge actually. Can't remember. It's been a little while since I've been down here. I'm going to have to move over a bit, Mercedes. Thank you. Wait there, Rano. No, no, you're just gonna keep coming. Thanks. Donut. <laughs> there we go. There they are, there on the right. That was a bit of a squeeze through there. Not too bad though. Can't get in with you then. Good idea if we didn't move forward at all. <laughs> right, we're here anyway, and the guys are ready to load me, so I'll see you in a bit. Just gotta get in the position a bit better. There we go. <laughs> How do you want me? Do you want me to spin round or? Alright, okay. Alright, okay. Okay, well. We've told you going to be here for like half three. Alright, okay. I don't know what you were told, but I think Yeah, okay. Fortunately, we've been told now for the office not to load you. Alright, okay. I don't want to be a brick. No, no, it's fine. I'll read my boss, see what he says. So. Well, impromptu video, uh, finish to the video. <laughs> That's me done. Um, <coughs> they're uh, cut off time is half past three, and I got eight minutes past, seven minutes past four, something like that. So, um, yeah, bugger. So they're, they're sticking their guns. They said they've stayed on a few too many times for people turn up a little bit late so they're sticking to the guns now so that's fair enough they have a cut off they're gonna adhere to it from now on so this is what it is obviously the amount of time it took me to get out and loaded early obviously affected me being able to get loaded today so so they finish at half four so it was like 20 minutes they wouldn't have got me loaded in time because 22 packs and they'd never get 22 packs of steel in 20 minutes plus i have, would have had to have undone my curtains strap up this and the other so yeah, this is what it is. There's still guys working in this bit until 10 o'clock, but they're just pressers, they're not loaders or anything like that, so. But they will be in tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. to load me, so I'll be getting loaded at 5 a.m., so I'll be up ready for that. So, not too bad, just means I've got a nice early finish at uh, quarter to five. 
because I've waited for a few cars to move and then I've sort of back to where I am now so I spun around and then I did stop over there because there was a car parked here I didn't want to double park against the car but as soon as that car moved off just moved over here and I've pulled my uh, tacker card out because I've got a new one that's my brand new one it starts tomorrow so my old one expires today so I've pulled it out now put it in my wallet new ones ready to go for, t for the morning so yeah I like to keep my card in during the week usually, but obviously one expires today and the other one starts tomorrow, so yeah, fun times. So I'm going to go out and actually open my back doors because Cradley Heath isn't exactly the, uh, I mean it's not the most dangerous place in the world, but we are quite close to Birmingham at the end of the day, and places like this do have a little bit of crime going on about them, so We'll go open our back doors just to stop, hopefully, prevent anything from happening. Get the boots on. Yeah. But our guys have stayed there before and they said it's not too bad staying there. So, I would have stayed on their thing, but they need that shutter door access until about 10 o'clock. So, yeah. I'll check everything over on the trap, make sure it's all good. So, we are not blocking anything, so we're all good. Not that anyone's going to require any of this during the night, so, yeah, fun times. Mate, he said sometimes you get a few boy races going up and down here, so hopefully I don't get the same issue as last night with idiots, but you never know. We'll get our back doors open. It's got to go by. Get that open for the night. Let's move. Oh. Move all that over. Still got a few maggots in here, look. It's disgusting. Flies, we've got loads of flies in there. Yeah, another one there, look. He's dead. Gross, but what can you do? Yeah, so clean your waste food out of your plastic before you recycle it. <laughs> Makes my job a little bit less disgusting then. <sighs> right, that's me done. So, I've done my paperwork already and everything, so, just gonna sit tight and, uh, I don't know, get the old laptop on, I guess. Carry on watching the film I was watching earlier Rise of the Foot Soldier Part 4, Marbella. So, Good little set of films, uh, all about um, the football terraces in London and then the gangs that sort of arrive from that. Anywho, let's get in here and we'll finish this video off. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down, that's entirely up to you. Also, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, it doesn't cost nothing. You know, why not, aren't you? I've got to go hunting flies in here as well. Yeah, so uh, share my video with someone you think might like it. And leave a comment. Yes, leave a comment. Have you ever had maggots in your trailer? <laughs> I say, when I was filling up with fuel earlier in Wayhill Services, I had a few maggots that had dropped down from the trailer onto the uh, wheel arches and fuel, and fuel tank and that. So I was like, oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. Alright, take it easy, look after yourselves, drive safely. Thanks for trekking around with Jono, and I'll see you in the. Ooh, hiccups. See you in the next one. Goodbyes.